We have a new Daytona 500 champion, but is Michael McDowell really a surprise winner? This video breaks down the finish of the Daytona 500 and why McDowell's win is anything but a fluke. What's up everyone, I'm Alan Kavana. I hope you are having a great day after a long day on Sunday waiting for the Daytona 500 to finish. First things first though, hit that subscribe button because I'd love for you to take this journey with me as we go throughout the 2021 season talking about all things NASCAR racing. If you think you're tired on a Monday morning, just put yourself in Michael McDowell's shoes. We spoke to him before 9 a.m. and he hadn't even gone to sleep yet. I can't imagine trying to sleep after winning the biggest race of your life. One of the many calls McDowell had received already was from Trevor Bain at 5.30 in the morning. Remember, Bain was another unexpected winner of the Daytona 500. The two are really good friends, so just to think that those two friends have something so in common like winning the Daytona 500, that's pretty neat. So let's talk about the finish of the Daytona 500. We'll fast forward to the backstretch of the final lap, Joey Logano leading, his teammate Brad Keselowski in second, and Michael McDowell lurking there in third. Brad made his move, made contact with Logano, sparking a huge crash going into turn three, and it was McDowell there navigating his way to victory. Here's how the winner explained those final moments. Yeah, I think, you know, Brad backed up to me definitely in, in, in the middle of turn one and got off of Joey a little bit. So to me, that was my indication that he was getting ready to go. Um, just because he was trying to build that little bit of a gap so we could get a run and, and we got the run and, and we really got the run because Chase Elliott gave me a pretty good push and then I was able to get connected with Brad, but it looked like Brad had the momentum with me pushing him and wasn't sure if he was going to pick Joey up or pass him. And I think that that maybe was a little bit of what happened. Now, a lot of people are going to look at the headlines this morning and say, who is this guy? And yes, McDowell going to victory lane is a surprise. He went 357 races without a victory. While it was a surprise, Denny Hamlin wanted everyone to know it was not a fluke. Hamlin was trying to win his third straight Daytona 500. He won both stages, led the most laps, but he just wasn't in position to win on Sunday night. He is one of the best out there on these drafting tracks, and he wanted people to know McDowell is right up there as well. Here's what Denny tweeted out. It read, McDowell's win tonight was no fluke, wasn't a anyone can win type of race. McDowell's up front time and time again at the super speedway races, well earned and well deserved. Congrats. Quite the compliment from Denny Hamlin, so much so that I asked Michael McDowell about it and asked McDowell if this really is an underdog story. We are underdogs, um, but when we come to Daytona, you know, I would consider us a top five contender every time um and and i don't say that because you know i'm being boastful i just say that because a majority of these races were in the top five when it comes down to those last five laps so um no different than than denny and and joey and there's there's a handful of guys that seem to be able to get themselves in those positions um, but the difference is, is that I haven't been able to close. I haven't been able to, you know, to get the victory lane. I, I've been able to get in that top 10 and that top five. But, um, you know, so I do feel like we are underdogs from, from that standpoint. But I also don't, I agree with Denny, I, and I really appreciate what he says. That means a lot. I, I don't think it was a fluke because we do run up front at these races quite often. And uh, last night just worked out perfectly. Good stuff from the Daytona 500 champ. So let me know down in the comments, how surprised are you that Michael McDowell is the one holding the Harley J. Earl Trophy? Not only that, Michael McDowell and team are in the playoffs, already a disruptor to the 2021 season. This year is off to a fun start. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay with me throughout the season as we'll have a lot to talk about. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you next time.